Hi, and welcome to Magic Uncut. My name's Graham. Behind the camera, we have Lee. Say hi, Lee. Hi, Lee. Lee, ask me a question about magic. Do you know any tricks with tin boxes with the Queen's head on? <laughs> Do I know any tricks with tin boxes with the Queen's head on? You're not going to believe this. I have got an old metal tin box here with a picture of a very, very young, can you see that? Yeah. Very, very young queen on it, right? And the reason this is old and like that is because belonged to my great uncle Charlie. He was in the Merchant Navy, he used to perform card tricks for his friends and pals on the boats. Uh, and when the queen got coron uh, coronation in 1952, he got invited the coronation to show the, the general public card tricks. He wasn't performing for the royalty and the toffs and the hoi polloi. But for his trouble, he got this little tin box and inside there were some sweets and some cigarettes and a few little gifts right now the sweets and cigarettes are long gone but if we have a look inside here you should find he brought back a photograph of the actual coronation there yeah, black and white photograph this is his actual uh, invitation to charles lowry there to go to, to, for the uh, earl marshal to actually command by the queen to go and do some magic for the general public and also in here this is the original deck of cards that he used okay uh, to do the card tricks right as you can see we'll put them there and in this bag which is looking really good for its age there is a commemorative penny you got that penny um for performing magic at the uh, coronation now can you see the date on that penny 1952 and it's got the queen's head on it george's head wasn't removed king george's head wasn't removed from pennies and the queen young queen's head wasn't put on the pennies until 1953 so this is a very very specially minted commemorative coin that was given out to anybody at the con uh, co uh, coronation right can you see who that is do you know who that is yeah. that's the empress uh, Roman Empress Britannia, right? And as you can see, she's got a shield there and she's got a trident and she's sworn to protect the Queen and to come to her aid in times of crisis. So we've got the coin there and I'm going to show you one of the tricks that Charlie did at the con uh, coronation. There's the cards. We're going to take the cards. We're going to shuffle the cards face up like that. And we're going to shuffle the cards face down. Okay. And what I want you to do is just tell me when to call stop. Stop. Take anywhere from where you said stop, take any card. Now it's very important that you show this to the camera and that you memorise it and you know what that card is, yeah? Yeah. Stick it back there, okay? And we'll cut it into the deck like that, okay? Now, I'm going to give the deck a shuffle, like that, okay? And I'm going to give the deck a few cuts, like that. Now there is a chance that your cards come to the top of the deck. The Six of Diamonds, is that yeah. your card? Okay, so we'll take the Six of Diamonds, we'll put it there, and I'll take the coin and put it on top of there. Right. Do you know the legend of the Queen's Nose? Yeah. So if you rub the Queen's Nose, you can get granted a wish. Okay? Yeah. So I want you to rub the Queen's Nose and call out your card. Seven of Clubs. Seven of Clubs, right? Seven of Clubs. I want you to watch. Turn over the Six of Diamonds, right? And there is the Seven of Clubs, okay? Which is a good trick, but we're going to try it again. I'm going to take the coin, I'm going to put it on the seven of clubs, like that. I'm going to give these an overhand shuffle, right? Okay, can you see that? Yeah. Now, normally, I'll hand these coin, these cards out to be shuffled. You can't do that because you've got the camera in your hand. So, will you just give them a cut, right? Just give them a cut anywhere you like. That's it. And give them another cut, like that, right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the deck, and I'm going to give them a few cuts like that, and um, another cut like that, and I'm going to give them a Hindu shuffle. And when I do, you'll see that every time I give them a shuffle like that, the card changes. Yeah. Yeah. So just tell me when to stop. Sure. Memorize that card. Yeah. Have you got it? I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to drop them in the box. I'm going to put all of this on top like that, and I'm going to put the lid on. You're thinking of a card now. Yeah. yeah? Remember what you've got to do: rub the queen's nose and name the card. Queen of Hearts. If the Queen of Hearts is underneath the coin, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah. Turn over the card. That's it. Turn over the card. Seven of Clubs. Now, I know what you're thinking. It hasn't worked. But I did say that the card would be underneath the coin, didn't I? Yeah. And can you remember Britannia's on the other side of the coin? Yeah. And I said she would come to the Queen's aid and rescue. Yeah. Can you turn over the coin, please? And have a close look at what Britannia's got in her hands. You can see now that Britannia is holding the Queen of Hearts 
freely selected card and this now can be given away as a souvenir if i was at a gig which i think is a nice souvenir for somebody to get a nice talking point and that's the legend of the queen's nose